Hello everyone, I am really honored to be here with you today. First of all, congratulations. There is a special kind of energy that comes from the transition from first class petty officer to chief petty officer, and that's for really good reason. I think the Navy and the, and the goat locker does this well for a reason. And, and that's because I believe that the chief's mess is the backbone to the Navy. Your coaches, mentors, experts, trusted advisors, as well as the champions of Navy heritage. So I wanna to talk to you today about the power that you have. And I think it's not the talk exa exactly of what you might be expecting when it comes to power. I'm gonna tell you about JOC Steve Petrozello. Chief Petrozello was my first chief back when I was a new division officer uh, many, many moons ago. And he is probably one of the single most influences on my career. You know, just new into the Navy with only a couple of years, and here's his chief on his way out the door. And he took all the time he could to coach and mentor me and grow me into a junior, uh, good junior officer, I hope, and then also to, to uh, coach our team. He was that benevolent leader before that was the cool thing to do. In 1998, Krusty might have still been in, but no, not Steve. I never saw him mad at me or his sailors. Uh, I never saw him raise his voice. And he was kind of like, he'd communicate to me in these small bits. He was a man of few words. And he would uh, call him iceberg. He was an iceberg communicator, because I'd get this. But I knew later on with experience, much more was going on under that. I got a lot of, Roger that, I'll take care of it. Uh, I see where you're going with this, ma'am. Don't worry about it, I've got it. But under that, the things that he was taking care of were huge. Uh, changes of the watch bill, change management, communication plans, changing people's jobs. And he always made that happen. And the whole time he was growing his sailors, he was growing me. And for that, I will always be grateful. And this is the power that you have. I am talking about him and I am thinking about him 20 plus years later. And you can be that. You can be someone's first chief. You can be the first chief over them. You can be the first chief for a, a young junior officer that's gonna be so grateful for you one day. Uh, a few years back when I was selected for this, uh, over Facebook, I got a note from Chief Petrozello and I'm telling you that the swell of pride that I felt from getting a note that said, your first chief is really proud of you, made me feel like I was a 24 all over again and it made me feel so happy to make him proud so he's still a leader in my life and you can be that to someone you have that power so you know I was asked hey tell a C story if you're gonna tell a good one tell a bad one I don't have a bad one I really don't my chiefs have always been my SELs have been my most trusted advisors including my one today Master Chief Brian Brannon we're together 10 years ago when I was a crusty commander and he squared me away then and today we work side by side and I wouldn't have it any other way. But we all know what uh, a chief that maybe doesn't have the right focus looks like. And I think sometimes there are chiefs that like to be feared and what I want to tell you is you do not have to be feared to be a good leader. Are you going to be the type of chief that walks by the guard shack and at the watch and gives them a quiz inspection, plays a little bit of stump the chump, and maybe does a uniform inspection and tells them to get a haircut tomorrow? Or are you gonna be the type of chief that walks by the guard shack, looks at the watch, and the uniform inspection you're doing is, does he or she have the right gloves? Are they too hot? Are they too cold? You know, and I'm gonna give them my gloves. His shipmate, just give these to me tomorrow. Or, you know what, here's something I learned on my first watch. Where are you from? And I think you can be that chief. You can be a kind chief that coaches up and coaches down. Just remember what it was like when you were 18, 19, heck, 16, 17, you joined the Navy, your first watch, your first ship, and what those chiefs are that inspired you. And I don't think it was the one that walked to the front of the line at the auto dog and like they were entitled. I think it was the one that asked you how you were doing today and let you know you were welcome to sit next to him or her in the mess. So, um, you know, that's, I, I hope that that, you know, resonates with you, that you know that the anchors on your collars have tremendous amount of power. 
And if you back them up with a willingness to coach and mentor and guide with kindness, you will be more powerful and have more influence than you know over people that maybe are thinking about you, you know, 20 plus years later. So thank you for everything you've done to get this far. I am, I am grateful and I know it was tough and I'm really, really proud of you. We're all really proud of you. Now get out there and kick some butt and I'll see you in the fleet.